Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. So I'm coming on to do a pick 10, so I'm just going to adjust the camera a bit to do a pick 10. But before I do, I wanted to show you, um, I've got it next to me. Item 5 are these teddy bear cards. My pick 10 is going to be item 6. I'm just writing it on these, um, I can't see. There we are. On, um, I just got this like little notebook, so I'm keeping a record of it then. I've put the date I started, which was the 12th of April. So yeah, I'm keeping track. I've just realised I need a piece of paper to write my prompts on. So I will just grab a piece of card. Right, so I've got something to write my prompts on in a minute. But yeah, I just want to show you these cards. I hope I'm up the right way. I'm... As I'm looking at it, it's looking, might be upside down. I think it is, right, okay, I'll put it that way. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna hold it like that and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, so I've used my decoupage. Um, let me just grab it and then I can tell you what it is. I've just gotta find it. So I've used my hunky-dory I think it's showing upside down to you lot, but if I turn it around, it's really weird. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to get everything in the right place. Um, the Teddy Loves Decoupage book by Hunky Dory, volume 12. So I've used some sheets out of this. I'm just going to put that back up there for now. Um, yeah, so I've done one. If anything's upside down, I apologise. I checked the camera several times, and when I upload, it's just, does its own thing so I've given up now at least it's overhead and you can see um yes yeah, so I've just done this one which says congratulations on your new home and using up some buttons because if you know I love buttons so I have got a stash so yeah I've done that one I did struggle with the fussy cutting on here um there's a frame to cut out and I did struggle a bit but it's, it's not bad considering I've got a broken wrist and then I've got a football theme one that says have a ball on your special day, more buttons. And then this one's going to be for my dad because he likes cars. Um, and I know he doesn't watch my videos. Um, yes, I used some for the base of these because this kit didn't come with any cardstock or paper. So I've used stuff from my own stash. Um, yes, I've done this one for my dad. It says birthday on your birthday. And then it says to a very special man, which of course my dad is to me. And then I've done this one, grown with love just for you, with love and best wishes on your birthday. And then just added one big button. So I'm going to move these out the way. Um, let's put them up there. Everything's getting stashed. And um, let's get on with the pick 10. So as you know, by um, if you've seen my other ones, I pick a couple of prompts and get up and down and stuff. I don't do editing, it is just what it is. So I'm just gonna write, so I think it's the 14th of April is what I'm saying. 14th of April, 2021. And the first, so let's do that. Yeah, so I just write it down and then I like to stick it back, stick it on the back of this. Right, so let me get my cards. And we'll have a little shuffle. So I'm going to pick that one. And these just don't want to shuffle together. I have to sort of cut them in half. And you can see they just have a mind of their own. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd do a pick 10 as one of my prompts. I'm going to pick this purple one. Right, so prompt one was tags. Okay. Now I haven't got a load of paints and stuff yet. So mine is picks... Um, Oh, I can't speak. Sorry, my brain really has gone. Um, yeah, I don't have paints and stuff, so mine's quite a lot of ribbons and paper and stuff, but in time, I hope to get some stuff. So, And then number two was handmade embellishment. And I'll put these prompts in the description box so you can see. So let me just go around the tag. Actually, yes. Okay, so I have some 
if I've got anything small, but I don't think I have. Okay, right. So I've picked three little tags and then for my embellishment was a handmade pocket. So I'm going to add the tags first because that's what came first. And I've got all my tapes next to me. Tapes and glues because you never know what's going to crop up. So, um, you know, I had a blood test this morning. Not the most fun thing in the world. Oh, are you seeing? Okay, yeah, I'm in frame. Yeah, not the most enjoyable thing, my blood test, but hopefully it's going to be okay because I've got to every three weeks, which is good. If I can get a little bit longer, I'll be chuffed to nuts. I don't know where that's come from. It's going in the bin anyway. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad. And they're very good doing it. Um, they're quick. It's just my veins get so sore because they have it done so often. And then we we'll put this down here. Yeah, so these are just some little tags that I made. So I suppose they could have been handmade embellishments, but it said tags. And then I'm going to pop that one there. And then we've got my handmade pocket. Ah, I might have to move these up a bit. Can I adjust them? I didn't think about that. Oh, it's ripped a bit. Right, let's put those up there. That's the thing, it doesn't take long to... Um, Filler page, and then we're going to put that there. Yeah, I needed um, I need to make some smaller embellishments, really. Oh, that's run out. Luckily, I've got another tape next to me. Sorry, I know this rattles. I've tried, like I said, I've tried several times putting it in different places on the desk, but stuff just rattles on this desk. The desk is flat. It's just, yeah, uh, never mind. It is what it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, today is Thursday, I've decided. Uh, not sure. Um, so Sunday, Mum and Dad are going to come over. I'm going to do some stuff in the gardening. In the garden. Gardening. Right, so now we need three and four. So, oh, I didn't put my holes in the side. Just do that now before I forget. Right, that's sorted. So I'll try and stay away from those. All right, let's have another little shuffle. All right, let's have this greeny one. And then we'll have this grey and grey one. Right, so number three is pens or pencils. Let's write that down because I know I will forget. Pens or pencils. And uh, number four is use stamps. Ah, can't do that because I haven't got a small stamp press, so I can't use stamps. So I'll put that one over there. So let's pick number four again. Add fabric. Okay, can do that. Add fabric. Okay. So let's do pens and pencils first of all. So let's have, what should we have? have some yellow I think to uh, for my pens I'm gonna color in my um, butterfly because I want to leave some more room because who knows what's going to come up next right and I'll do that bit of yellow as well yeah, so um, when I did my pit ten, I just went round my room and I was like, oh, I'll write that as a prompt. All right, what else shall we add? And so I'm just using my Spectrum Noir pens for here. Sorry, I should have said what colours I was using, but I haven't. What was that yellow one? That yellow one, just in case. Sometimes it's nice to know what colours people use. The yellow one was Sunshine, which is CT2, and this is, so I've got to get my eyes in frame, yes. Caribbean, which is AB3. Uh, oh, so I really hate this rattling. 
on my I've got a large glass cutting mat which I use sometimes and I took the feet off the bottom of it because it just rattled so much so um, I don't really want to do that with this right okay so I'm going to add oops just go around that a bit more just to say I have used some pens right so I've done pens now we need some fabric I won't be a sec Right, am I still filming? Yes, I am. Okay, so I've got some fabric here. So let me just grab my fabric scissors and we will add some fabric. So I'm going to need my tacky glue for this. Oh, come here. Yeah, I've got really shaky hands today. I'm having a bad flare up with... Um, excuse me, that was the glue, not me. <laughs> Yeah, having a really bad flare up with my lupus at the moment. My joints are achy, so I have a bit of that there. Oh, that's a bit of... Yeah, this is leftover fabric from I'm making a another dog's quilt at the moment, so it was leftover from that. And then I think I'm going to pop. Yeah, so apologies for my shaky hands, but it's painful as well. If anybody has lupus or any of those sort of health problems, you know what it's like. I'm going to have a bit more of this light blue. These other bits I'm going to put in the bin. I know some of you go, no, don't do that. But I have got li literally a stash of fabric. And then I'm going to put that there. Right, OK. Let's just clean the end of this glue. This glue does have a mind of its own to bung up for no reason. Right, okay, so now we need five and six. Let's have another little shuffle. Some of them are staying over there. Right, uh, I'm going to have that one for number five. Oh, ended up with two white ones. <laughs> right, so number five says random numbers. Random. I can't spell random now. Random numbers. And then six is use napkins. Oh my god. This page is turning out rather full. Use napkins. Okay, what have I got with it? I got anything with numbers on? I'm not sure. Let me just go and have a look again. As you know by now, I'm up and down like a yo-yo. Uh, have I got any numbers? I don't know if I have. Got any numbers left? I'm just rummaging through my stickers. Okay, I've got no numbers, but I can write some numbers. And then what was the other one? Napkins. For, I guess for random numbers, I'm going to write some numbers on it. Right, I'm going to use my black pen for this. Yeah, I thought I had some number stickers left, but I've used them up. Oops, no, I don't want that end. I want the other end. Right, random numbers. Let's have four, ten, um, thirty-three, and the age I am, forty-three. Let's put a number on here, 70. Right, OK, so we've got some random numbers. Might have to go through magazines and look. And then I've got a scrap bit of napkin here. So I'm going to get my glue stick for this. Oh my God, how much more can I put on this page? <laughs> and I've still got four more prompts to go. Right, let's put some glue here. I'm going to diamond paint after this video because I haven't done any for a few days. Right. I know the text for that is the wrong way. I'm going to put some here. Right. 
And then we've got this little bit here, which I think I'm going to stick there. Right. I didn't put enough glue on there, so let's dab that on. Stick your little monkey. Now, I'm looking forward to getting the garden done. Well, we're not going to do a lot. The grass just needs cutting and get some weeds out. Right, so I'm calling that done for napkins. Let's put a lid back on here. It's only so I don't make a mess because I'm just hopeless. Right, number seven and eight. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to when I can have a spend, but this hundred thing challenge has to get done. So we've got that for seven. Um, and now this one for eight. So number seven is everyday ribbon. Ribbon. And then number not eight, I can't count, is draw hearts. Oh. Draw hearts. Okay, ribbon. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. And I'm just dipping in, I'm not going mad. Everyday ribbon and then draw hearts. Okay, so we've got some yellow ribbon here. <laughs> Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put some across here. Oh. I'm running out of room. Sorry, God. Oh, my God. I started to sing then. That would make people disappear. I've probably said before, I was always asked to mime in the choir. So let's have some of that there. Trim that off. I can't just have one piece of ribbon. Oh, my God. Where am I? Oh, I'll put some little bows on there. Haha. <laughs> Sorted. I can't even tie to cut that too short, didn't I? Come on, surely I can tie a ribbon with this. You know, some days I feel like chopping my wrist off because it just does me bonkers, right? Let's use a little bit of tape for this. And we put that there. Sorry about my arms completely in the way. So I've got one little bow where popping on there. Well, this is certainly a hot mess of a page, as Maggie Lockley would say. It's um, certainly got a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> but it makes you use your stash, and I love not knowing what's coming next. That's why I also like the Pick 5 magazine prompts. Right, let's just make this a bit smaller. One bow too big and another one too small. It's so lovely, I can hear the birds cheeping. I've got the um, back door open so the little man can come and go. I don't have to keep getting up and down then. So it is nice to have the nicer weather. Actually, I think I might. Yeah, I'm going to do that. No, I'm going back to my other plan. Okay. So now I need to draw some hearts. Oh, God. My artistic skills are rubbish. You get back in there. Thank you. Right, okay. Now as I'm drawing hearts, I'm going to use the colour pink. Oh, where are we going to go? Right, let's draw a heart there. I'll colour it in roughly. Yeah, my, my arm's struggling and... I draw a heart there, um, a little heart here. I know they probably don't look like hearts, but I'm doing the best I can. I liked heart, but it wasn't that great. And I'm going to put another little heart here. Okay, so that's my effort at drawing hearts. Right, nine and ten. Please, nothing too drastic. Right, so let's put some there. Oh, hands work. Some there. I'm going to have that one for nine. 
this one for 10. Please be nice. <laughs> uh cardstock scraps okay card stock scraps and then number 10 is ephemera right okay card scraps i've got the card right next to me uh, I'm going to get, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Because I've got these little flowers all, oh, God. Things are attacking me. So I've got these little shapes already. Let's use that little flower scrap. And I think I've got another one. Right there. I haven't, but I'll have another. You know, I had a day of cutting out flowers and I have that scrap. Yeah, see, I don't throw anything away. I try and make as much use. And then let's see if we've got another one. Yes, we have. Every now and then I like to get my dies out and have a die cutting. Day. Right, so we've got some card scraps now. I just need to attach them. Let's pop that one there. So, how much for a hoarder are you lot for um, card stock for keeping scrap bits of paper? I didn't used to be too bad and then I started watching YouTube and I could see just how much you could do with scraps and it's like oh keep that right okay so that's card scraps so now the last one is I need to find some ephemera bear with okay so I've got this I don't know if you can see I think you can um yeah 